All right. So, as you know, during this, inf- or, and if you don't know, during the elimination diet, you got to kind of keep an eye on different things that make him come out as and show themselves as intolerances. So you might have skin issues, uh, bowel issues, cramping, gas, um, uh, nose and sinus uh. issues, headaches. Um, a lot of things can happen. So you've got to kind of try to be aware. And it doesn't happen all the time right away like in the movies, kids. It doesn't always. It's not like peanuts where it's always like right away. Uh, sometimes it'll be 24 yeah. hours. It'll happen the next day when you go to the bathroom or whatever or a little bit later. But um, I all of a sudden over the last couple of days have had an issue um, with the bathroom. Not, not being able to go, but you know how it looks and that's something you got to be honest with yourself and like look at your shit dude and figure out is that even close to healthy or is something up because your shit won't lie your shit won't lie you better be ready so um, (laughs) nice dude so um i was ready i was like you were ready uh so that kind of worked out i was like something's up so i had added cheese i had added bread I didn't see many problem with that. I added beef back. I had That's crazy that you had you had no problem with with cheese or bread though. It's like these days, there's so cheese many. Cheese is different than a lot of dairy and dairy pro- Okay. Cheese is a different thing sometimes for people. There, I've come across people that are like I can't do dairy real well, but I'm all right with cheese. I've seen a lot of that. Don't really? ask me why exactly. Yeah. It, it, so cheese is, a, and it, it depends what kind of cheese it is too. So. Um, yeah. Again, I had a little bit. It wasn't like I had a big meal with a lot of cheese. I added a, I had a, a cheeseburger. Yeah. So it wasn't a ton of cheese. But there's certain things in life I want to be able to have now so I can keep doing this for longer because I want to see where it goes. But um, having that, being able to have a nice cheeseburger in a bun is nice to me. Okay. So I, I want to try to keep that and other little things. Um, I haven't now, because of this issue, I have not added back anything else. I actually went back to the elimination part again because I was like, something's up and I got to clean myself out again and figure it out. So, uh, so I you kind of reset it, it a little bit? A little bit because obviously it wasn't a lot of food I had. It was something recent. So I figured a couple of days okay. of being on this again would kind of reset me again. But unfortunately, mm. it was still happening. So I'm like, what the fuck? I'm having exactly turkey, broccoli, rice, fruit. I'm having those same things right now. I, I didn't have cheese and I haven't had bread. I haven't had beef. And it, it's so I'm like, mm. what the hell? So then I started thinking, because when I when something's bothering me, I, I think about it until I can figure it out. And I remember that, and I don't know if a lot of people realize this, but uh, some people do not digest vegetables well. But some people can do well with cooked vegetables. But raw vegetables, a lot of people don't do well with. Now, this past weekend, I went to Costco, and I got a big bag of the fresh broccoli in the fridge, part of Costco. I didn't get the frozen bag. So I brought that, and that's what I've been cooking with. And I'll put that in my meat, and I'll put it in the skillet and everything. So I am still cooking it. But one was frozen, and one was... Fresh. Fresh. So, yeah, yeah, right from like, because I got to break it off because it's on a big stalk and I'll break pieces off so I make it a little smaller because I don't I don't like the you break big them stalk. off. So. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. break, I don't like the big stalks. Yeah, it's, a lot all of fi- it's too fibrous usually. Right. Right. Oh, believe me. My Trees stomach, all day. My, my, my stomach told me so. So don't worry about that. So I was like, son of Trees all lads. day, motherfucker. Trees <laughs> all day. <laughs> Something told me. Maybe it's that because I didn't do well with lettuce. That was one of the things I knew I wasn't going to go back to was romaine or iceberg or any kind of lettuce and roughage like that. My body does not digest at all, at all. What I'm about like, arugula? I don't eat arugula, so I didn't have to worry about that. But um, mm. come to find out, all you people out there that may have IBS, a lot of times vegetables, especially fibrous ones really fibrous ones will will irritate your ibs your 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 gut just doesn't like it it's just your 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 yeah. roll of the dice 
So some people can't do certain things. So I want to bring this up and show why some vegetables can trigger IBS. Since I was kind of forced into this. Now, I didn't have, I don't believe I have IBS. And I haven't really had any issues except for the last couple days. So I'd say the last four days or so. Because now we're at yeah. Thursday. Well, more than that. Five days, six days. Because of when we're filming this. So this is a week later. You'll hear this. But So uh, here's a little thing. So when uh, you eat raw veggies, your digestive system is tasked with breaking down the food components. The tough fiber in the veggies, the cellulose, is not broken down. And the roughage can irritate the digestive tract as it passes through. So some people can do well with it and digest a little more of it. Some people, you're just crapping out. It looks like what you ate. Yeah. And, and that's just ripping up your gut. Because by the time it gets to certain places in your gut, it shouldn't be like that anymore. You know what I mean? It should so be it, broken down. Right. And they say a little bit will help, which they used to say, will help, you know, if you have constipation and to clear your fucking, your, your balloon not out. But Well, that's the, I, that's, the whole, that's the whole fucking thing is they're saying that fiber is like the broom for your fucking guts. Like it sweeps everything out. Right, but unfortunately, people are eating it, and they're giving them them wire brushes they use in warehouses. That's what kind of broom it is, and it's tearing up guts. Yeah, that's not good. So, now here's the interesting thing: the the FODMAPs. FODMAP stands for different types of carbohydrates: fermentable, oligosaccharides, saccharides. Sorry, this desaccharides, monosaccharides and polyols. Since these carbohydrates are poorly absorbed by the small intestines, they can trigger IBS in some people. So people with IBS, wow. they probably were told, eat better and eat all your veggies and everything. Well, it might be tearing up your gut. It's not a one-size-fits-all. People, please, it's mm. not a one-size-fits-all. You have to do some personal research. You can't just listen to tired, like, oh, just do this. Why? Why do I have to do that? Show me why I have to do that. Exactly. And then if it's not working, it I should be able to try something. Folks. It's a shame. But then people wonder why they have all these problems and millions of medical bills and they're still not better. When you are eating a salad or raw vegetables, you are usually eating a large volume of food, which, you know, people are like, look at my salad. Hashtag healthy lifestyle. You know, that's what they're doing. Hashtag suck my dick. <laughs> but that's what they're doing, right? According to the FODMAT yeah. diet theory, this can increase the amount of gas and the osmotic load in your gut and contribute to IBS symptoms. So you're causing your IBS. It's insane. That sounds really fucking familiar to me, bro. Yep.